Hello everyone, welcome to Code Yoga. In this video, I will tell you how to deploy your Flask app online. The platform that we'll be using to deploy our Flask app is known as Heroku. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we need to do, go ahead and search for Heroku and open the first link that comes up. So this is the platform that we are gonna use to deploy our Flask app. Create an account here. So I already have an account. Create an account and log in. Okay, the next step is to install Heroku CLI. Go ahead and search for Heroku CLI. Open the first link that comes up and follow the installation instructions according to the OS. So I'm using Mac OS. So what I had to do is install Homebrew and then go ahead and execute this command. The next thing that we need to do is install Gonigan. So go ahead and execute this command pip3 install and hit enter. So I already have this package installed, but for you, it will uh, do the installation if you do not have it already. So now let's start the process of our deployment. As you can see here, I have a simple flask app, which just uh, shows a hello world response uh, when you try to access uh, the URL. What we need to do here is go ahead and execute the command pip3 freeze requirements.txt So as you can see this is file created requirements.txt what this command did is take a snapshot of all the python packages that's installed in your system and just write this file with all the version information of those packages. The next step that we have is to create a proc file. Go ahead and type this command touch proc file. Make sure P is caps. Yeah, the file is created here. Go ahead and open it. And inside that, just type in web Gunicon. This is why we installed Gunicon and my Flask app. app. So whatever the name of your uh, file in which you have written the code for the Flask app, just mention that in the proc file, my Flask app, call app. Yep. So I think that's all for the proc file. So the next step is to create a GitHub repository that will contain all the code for your Flask app and also the proc file and the requirements file that we just created. Let me go ahead and create the create the repository. Uh, what's uh, let me name it as Flask Deployment Tutorial. Okay, uh, I'll make it as private and I'll just create the repository. Yep, the repository is created now. So now in the terminal, I'm in the same directory where my Flask app is written. So in the same directory, type git init. Get add. So basically this will add uh, all the files in, the, in this directory and git commit. F and M, my first commit. Okay. Okay, so the commit is created. Let me go ahead and, and create a branch. main so the main branch is created just go ahead and get remote add okay let me just uh, paste it here okay let me execute this command i just push all my code i think you oh there's a typo So this will push all your code, all the proc file, the requirements file to the repository. As you can see here, we were able to push our code to this GitHub repository that we created. All right, the next step is to start the deployment process. Let me go ahead and clear the terminal so that it will be legible. So I have to execute Heroku login. 
So there, there's press any key to open up the browser to log in. So I hit enter, hit the login button. If you have already logged in, in the browser, uh, like it will just, uh, uh, like won't ask again for username and password or authentication of any kind. So yeah, it's logged me in. Now I come to the terminal again and type in Heroku create uh, any service name. Uh, let me name it as code Luka deployment oh. deployment tutorial. Service is created and here it shows the link to the service for our flask app step is to execute this command get push Heroku main main uh, because our code exists in the main branch uh, of our github repository so this command will take some time to execute I'll just fast forward this video okay the execution completed and our service is deployed. Okay, so now if I take this link and try to open up in the browser, as you can see, yeah. As expected, it shows hello world that we wrote in our Python code here inside h1 tags. So yeah, we were able to deploy our Flask app and uh, for this tutorial thank you for watching this if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you see you guys next time